we know that when it came to Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, there was a whole lot of improv that was done on the set of the film, but that can't happen on the set of Deadpool 3. Now Rob Liefeld himself, the man that created Deadpool, talks a little bit about why this ultimately doesn't matter. <laughs> Look, we know how this goes. When Captain Pouches himself says something, it's gotta be fat. Okay, sarcasm aside, he is right with this because we talked about it here at the CBC. I even said so when it came to Ryan Reynolds. They can just go do the exact line that is right there. That doesn't mean that that's the final line because as Rob Liefeld said, and it's the same thing I said, a lot of stuff is done in post-production, ADR. And he said, yeah, he can't improv on the set, but a lot of the voiceovers and lines you see in Deadpool 1 and 2 are all post-production ADR. And that's where a lot of it came from, a lot of ad-libbing. So it's not going to be a problem when you have to literally play around with what he's saying behind a mask, which I 100% agree with. And a lot of people don't even know this, but um, they can honestly do this now even with whatever you said on set not matching up at all. Because now they're CGing lips, they're deep faking lips, they're changing like everything about you. There was an entire movie where they literally deep faked both actresses to stop dropping the F-bomb for the entirety of it. I mean, it's it's getting out of hand, but it's how it is. So yeah, um, he's right in the sense that this isn't gonna affect anything as long as they're shooting what's on the script. Now, what happens after Obviously, ad-libbing and all this and coming up with witty lines and post-production and re-recording and doing reshoots, well, that's obviously going to be its own thing, but you can't even think about that now considering that that's way down the road. My guess is, is that Deadpool 3 is probably one of the most important things they got to get out to show people what they can do with Marvel Studios handling R-rated, Deadpool 3 being an official sequel, bringing in Wolverine. They're not going to mess this one up, so... They're going to play it by book up until they don't have to, and then it's all a uh, free game for them to do whatever they want and let Ryan Reynolds run loose.